Sonny Myers, I'm just not sure what's going on, but Myers is obviously in a lot of pain because you do not see Sonny Myers more or less give up like that. And the fans, of course, are saying, Sonny, Sonny. Sonny Myers. Myers. Oh, Myers dives on top of Joe Cagle. Couldn't put it away, but it had the right idea. Myers could have just hung on to Cagle just a little longer. Because certainly so far in this match, you'd have to say that Cagle has really been socking it to Myers. Of course, he's had a lot of help from Vern Siebert. Here's Siebert. Siebert looks a little dazed. He just seems to be having a problem against Cagle. And Cagle has no problem. Using the back body drop on him. Cagle drives those two fingers right into the throat. Myers. Myers certainly seems to have a problem. Joe Cagle takes him over to the rope. Gary Allen makes him break it up. And Siebert continues to yell instructions to Joe Cagle. Well, what's this? That's Haas Taylor's bull rope. Haas Taylor's bull rope. I think Rick Davis brought it out into the ring. I'm not sure what's going on now. Now, Sonny Myers. Myers has got Cagle and Gary Allen wrapped up in that rope. The bell is gone. Because we have no referee at this point. Now Neil Drummond has come out. And I think Myers threw him out of there. I'm not sure what's going on, but Myers is putting on all the pressure he can with that rope. Gary Allen can't get clear. Neil Drummond trying to break it clear. And Allen had that rope right around his throat. Now Toby Gillis has come into the ring. Gillis is hanging on to Siebert. Sonny Myers, no, he's going to get right back and get that rope again. He's coming at him again. Sonny Myers coming at Cagle again. Myers is just, well, they call him Madman Myers. You can see what I mean. I don't know what's going on. I'm going to go to ringside and find out. Well, when Bernie Siebert gets in there, he kind of gets in the way, uh, Sonny Myers... Got himself a little help. You know what? It's time the Rebel Rockers start fighting back. And that's what happened. But Bird, you're lucky I didn't catch you across the back or across the eye. Because I'd love to show you what you've been missing at home. And that's getting a beating, Jack. And I, one thing I want to talk about is a Texas street fight coming up, Joe. You and I. It's supposed to be signed in the near future, boy. And the Texas Street Fight means anything goes. Tape fist, up in the bleachers, up in the parking lot, up in the lights. It doesn't matter, man. But as long as I got my, my good friend, Haas Taylor, I don't know if he's a good friend, but as long as I got this bull rope, there ain't no way that you guys are going to get in my way. No refs, not you, not you, nobody, because I'm laying down the law as of now. Fighting words from Sonny Myers. That's this. Fighting words is it's about time. This is going on too long. A couple weeks ago, you seen Kago. They came out here and they tried to string Sonny up outside there on the ropes. Well, it's about time we need to go outside and find the highest tree and uh, hang Seabird up himself there. He needs something like that. We need to set him straight. The man's getting away with too much, and this is no good. It's no longer to be happening. Well, I can tell you that I, I think everybody would agree with you that Seabird has constantly been causing problems around the side of the ring. Everybody knows that, but is this the way to solve the problem? Oh, yeah, I agree. You know, they got low down, dirty tactics, fight fire with fire, right? You know, if, if we wanted, if they want to do that to Sonny, 
He's got the right to do it back, man, as far as I'm concerned. I'm I start getting just a little bit worried here. That, you know, saying, no. Siebert's causing problems. He's causing a lot of problems. Look what happened to Ole Olsen. Look at the man has turned for the worse. He has turned on me. I think he might turn Sonny Doby. It's hard to say what's in the man's mind. I'll tell you something. I don't mean to take a quote from Mr. Stallone himself, but you guys are the disease and we're the cure, baby. You guys I don't know. The only problem here is, uh, of course, Al Tomko, the new promoter, may have a little problem trying to figure this one out, but I'm not sure what's happening to All-Star Wrestling. We'll be right back right after these words. Stay with us.